Hi friends, in today's video we are going to discuss about computer languages and operating system. A presentation by successcities.net What is programming languages? A programming language is a formal language designed to communicate instructors to a machine, particularly a computer. Every programming language has its own syntax and grammar, which is used to write programs. There are two types of programming languages, that is, procedural and non-procedural. First, we are going to talk about procedural language. It is a language which explains step-by-step -step accomplishment of a task. And non-procedural language focuses on what needs to be done without specifying exactly how it is to be done. Although early programming languages were completely procedural and today there are several powerful and user-friendly non-procedural languages. Classification of programming languages First, machine language, which is also known as first generation language. In early years of the computer revolution, programs were written at the primitive level of binary arithmetic in machine language. Machine language was tedious, error prone and machine dependent. That is, programs written on one type of machine could not be executed on other types of machine without rewriting all the code. However, the machine language is only the language that a computer can understand and execute and hence programs written in all other programming languages must first be converted or translated into machine language before the programs can be executed. Second is assembly language, which is also known as second generation language. Assembly language, which uses meaningful abbreviations of words to represent basic computer instructions, emerged in the early 1950s. Although it is machine dependent, it was an improvement over machine language because it uses words such as add or subtract instead of the zeros and ones used in machine language. Assembly language is converted into machine language by a program called assembler. And the third and the last is high level languages, which is also known as third generation languages. Between the mid 1950s and the 1970s, new set of languages called high level languages or third generation languages emerged were English like and were called high level languages because what looked several lines of code in machine or assembly language could be written using a single instruction in a third generation languages and this greatly enhanced the programming process. Third generation languages are machine independent. Like other languages, a third generation language must be converted into machine language before execution by a program called compiler. There are various popular high level languages available. They are BASIC, it stands for beginners, all purpose symbolic instruction code, normally used by beginners since it is easy to learn. Then Fortin, that stands for formula translation and used in scientific and engineering applications. Pascal, which is named after French mathematician Blaise Pascal and used in scientific applications. Cobol, this stands for common business oriented language and used in commercial application. C. It is very powerful high level language used for variety of purposes including system software. Now we are going to talk about operating system. What is operating system? 
it is collection of a number of programs that are used to control a computer system an operating system manages every aspect of the computer system an operating system manages every aspect of the computer system from running application software entering data displaying information on monitor printing reports etc very common operating systems include ms dos unix operating system novel netware and windows the functions of operating system process management to provide appropriate response to each event scheduling and loading of programs provide continuous job processing then device management it controls functioning job input output devices memory management it decides which process should be in main memory it monitors the amount of primary memory available it allocates the memory to each process it frees the memory when process is complete and the last information management this controls the reading and writing of information what are the different types of operating system the first type of operating system is batch processing systems this is a system which has a series of jobs or programs which are set up so that they can be run to completion without manual intervention for example unix second multi programming operating systems it is a form of parallel processing system in which several programs run at the same time on a uni processor there is no true simultaneous execution of different programs for example windows unix linux the third is time sharing systems simultaneous users has a direct connection to a powerful central computer the various users requests are handled in a cyclic format when the response of request are received at those different users terminals for example unix and linux and the last is real time system This is an operating system in which the maximum time from an input stimulus to an output response can be definitely determined. For example, QNX, RT Linux, VX works. So friends, today we have discussed about computer languages and operating system. Thank you.